Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back. Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. So as making this video, it says I have 119 subscribers. So that's pretty awesome. I can't tell you guys how awesome it feels. Um, I know 100 subscribers may not seem like a lot, but it really is. It really is and I appreciate all the subscribers and thank you to just all the comments and stuff like that. Um, one thing I've been wanting to do with this channel is to try to open it up to kind of a video style forum where we can all get together with common interest and open up a dialogue and learn from each other. I don't know everything. Um, you may know everything. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for people to drop comments. And if you go onto my page, um, a Devon Express page on YouTube, there's a tab called discussions and basically you can open that up ask a question and then I'm hoping for other people to come in and answer it if not myself so we can kind of open this up as a unit as a whole we all are here for the same reason and we can all get something out of it All right, so let's dive into this video. Okay, so I talked in my last video, if you haven't seen that already, I'll post a link up here or down here or somewhere. Um, but basically, what it was is, um, it's kind of like a vlog. Um, I'm not very good at the vlogs, I'm still working on it, but the um, I was on a road trip anyway and I had some issues with my truck. So, I'm gonna kind of go over some of the issues I had and so it kind of brought me into a um, pros and cons list of owning a 7.3 and let's see so this is the truck right here Whoop. it's a 2001 F250 7.3 and if you didn't watch that video I had an alternator problem it kind of slowly drained um, luckily I wasn't stranded I was very fortunate um, but it did bring me to one of the things I think everybody should have on their truck now and that is a volt meter I have one of mine, I've always had one because of other issues I was having, um, but I am totally on board now with the uh, with uh, the voltmeter. So one of the pros of a 7.3 and why most people buy a 7.3 is they're strong motors. Um, they just are. So that's, that's one of the pros and also you have, uh, you know, they're just workhorses. They can handle a lot, they're really reliable. You don't have to do a whole lot of maintenance to them um, to make them the way they are. They just, they just are reliable. Another thing with the 7.3 or the Pro is there's a, so many aftermarket parts. You can literally buy aftermarket parts for almost anything you want on the 7.3. They've been out forever. I mean, so 97s, 95s when they started putting the turbo, so I'm speaking specifically to the Power Stroke and not the IDIs, um, but the Power Strokes, there's a little bit difference in the earlier model uh, Power Strokes uh, 7.3s versus the newer style. Um, so that kind of brings me into my next thing. They're easy to work on. I, the 7.3 is so easy to work on. Um, there's not a whole lot of things, you know, it, it, they're pretty simple in a hole when you're comparing other motors. Um, like if you're talking about Ford, you're talking about the 6.4 or the 6.7. Those motors, even the 6.0s, there's just so much to it um, that requires somebody to really know what they're doing and not just YouTubing stuff. Um, so, and this one, this one is a pro and it's also a con depending on what you're comparing it to. So, fuel economy. So the 7.3 versus the 6.0 fuel economy, there's a big difference. The 6.0s out of the gate are gonna get better fuel economy than the 7.3, they just are. Um, but the 7.3 is gonna get better fuel economy than say the gas 5.4. So it depends on what you're comparing it to. Uh, on my last trip that I did, on my way there, I was getting roughly uh, 16, about 16 miles to the gallon. Um, and on my way back, I was getting 17 miles to the gallon. So, and really my driving didn't change any. If anything, on the way back, I was going faster, which I should have got, be getting, gotten less fuel economy. And I think that was due to maybe a sign of 
um, my alternator going down. So my truck wasn't running as best as it could have. So it was running, you know, it's harder for it to run. So my way there, I kind of, you know, I'm assuming that my alternator was kind of going down, maybe even before I realized it. And, you know, that could have been due to that mile less of mile per gallon. But anyway, I was getting around, this is average it out 16 and a half miles to the gallon. Now there are things that you can do to these trucks to get more uh, fuel economy out of it. Um, but that brings me to a con. Cost to performance ratio, meaning it costs quite a bit to get good performance out of the 7.3. So there's a big gap in there and it costs lots of money. Performance in the newer trucks are already there that you don't have to kind of pay for. They're already there. Um, so another con with this 7.3 is the type of suspension it has. It has simply shock. Um, suspension which kind of creates a rougher ride um, making sure you have good tires on your truck keeping good air pressure um, shocks and stuff like that you can help eliminate this I have not I might have good tires on my truck but my shocks I think need to be replaced um, and I really noticed this on my trip rough ride uh, if you look some of that camera footage I mean it's shaking and I am trying to hold it as still as possible but still it's it's all over the place um, so one of the biggest weak links in the 7.3 is the transmission, the E4OD and the 4R100. The 4R100 is a little bit better um, than the E4OD. They made some improvements, but not enough. Um, so one of the first things I did in my truck was I had it, it needed a transmission anyway, so I went ahead and got it built with uh, shift kits and uh, you know, torque converter and all that good stuff to just try to make it a little bit stronger. Um, because the, the transmission in, in these trucks just, let's be honest, they're just not very good. Another thing, um, this is kind of a pro and a con, but the earlier model, the 2000 in there, um, maybe some just in the beginning of 2001, but I don't, I don't really know, it might be a hit or miss, um, had forged rods, which my truck does not have forged rods. If you are curious on how to check this, I can go into this for you and show you exactly how to check to see if you have either PMR or forged rods. Um, it does make a big difference when you're talking about horsepower. Uh, PMR rods can, um, I think they, this is what I've read out in other forums, so please, if you know better, correct me in the comments. Um, I believe it's 400 horsepower um, is what the PMR rods are basically rated for. Anything over that, you're kind of getting uh, a little scary, which I actually am kind of close. So, um, and the Ford rods, they're just, they're just tougher. They can handle a lot more abuse than, than the PMR. Um, the 7.3 is, is also a two more things. It's slow and it's loud. So, with the loud, you can kind of take that as a pro and a con. I like the loudness. I like the way the motor sounds to me. Um, I did it, change my turbo because I wanted a little bit more of a whistle. The 6.0s, I mean, some of those earlier models, they sound like a jet taking off. I didn't want quite that much, but I did want some more whistle. And they're slow. They just are. The 7.3s were never designed and are not meant for when people buy them, like myself. And so if you're considering buying a 7.3, it is not going to be fast. Now, you can make it fast, but it's going to cost quite a bit. It's quite a bit to get a 7.3 to really go. Um, so if your buddy's got a 6.0 and you're looking to buy a 7.3, he's probably going to beat you every time, unless you got some seriously deep pockets. And well, guys, I think that's kind of a short and sweet pro and con list. Um, kind of touch base on. I'll go over them. Just run down. So pros of a 7.3, they're strong, lots of aftermarket parts, easy to work on. Uh, the workhorses, they're super reliable. Um, they have decent fuel economy, 16, 17 miles a gallon is what I'm getting. Um, cons, rough ride. They have a rough suspension, um, but you can change that with aftermarket parts. Um, they're loud. Um, they're slow. The cost to performance ratio is pretty substantial. Cost meaning it costs a lot to make good performance out of these 7.3s. Um, the transmissions are, the E4ODs and the 4R100s are just not known for being great transmissions. And the 2001 on 7.3s, um, typically you're going to find PMR rods. 
Um, also a con could be the fuel economy if you're comparing it to like a 6.0 or some of the other um, power shirt diesels where they can get up 20, 22 miles to the gallon. So yeah guys, I appreciate all the watching. If you are not a subscriber, do it now. Click here. Become a subscriber. Um, I'm really hoping to make a community out of this. Um, because I don't know everything, and I still work on 7.3s, I have three of them. Um, you're actually sitting on top of the hood of another, and I have another one over there um, that I'm all working on. And actually I have a question for you guys. If you've made it this far, I have a 97, 7.3 F350, uh, you know, turbo diesel, and transmission, I'm having some issues. Um, I've just recently replaced this probably about six months ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and it started acting up where it does not have drive anymore. It doesn't want to stick go and drive. It goes in drive, and but it's first gear. It doesn't actually shift out of drive. So I've been curious if, what you guys think. I don't know if it'd be a you know the solenoid uh, the packs in there or what. I'm not a transmission guy, I don't know anything about them really. Transmissions are just something I stay away from. Uh, you know, so I'm hoping you guys have some suggestions for me, leave them below. And if any of you other are watching and you some other video ideas, something you want to know, leave them below. Go to the discussion page on the on uh, on the YouTube page and click on there and ask questions. Um, prior, you know, when I used to, you know, you go out there and you're looking for information, you have to go through so many different forums to really get an answer. And sometimes. You know, depending on which forms you use, you can wait a while to get a good response back. Um, also, you find so many you know, pissing matches where people are just, they're, you know, let's have a discussion. I'm not always going to be right, and neither are you. It's just the way it is. Um, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the views and all the subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. And, and until next time, guys. Say it.